Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you on how to use GPT plus Google Docs, including ChatGPT4. So starting off, you need to download our add-on by heading to extensions, clicking on add-ons, and then clicking on get add-ons. From here, you want to search for GPT plus Google Docs, and it should pop up right here. And after you have downloaded our add-on, you want to head back, head back to extensions, and it should pop up right here. And once you have clicked on start GPT, a small window should pop up. So if you don't know how to use a GPT for Google Docs, we set some examples for you. So you can select any examples from here. I'm going to select write a blog post using your keywords and it automatically puts one of your prompts. So I wanted to write a hundred word blog post about the benefits of yoga, include keywords such as flexibility, mindfulness, and stress relief. So my action is going to be a custom prompt and my command is going to be write a blog post. And once I have done that, it will automatically generate my response. As you can see, it used everything that I asked for. It used the flexibility and then mindfulness. And you can also change your action. You can summarize it, fix grammar, but one of our newer ones, which is the best feature for GPT for Google Docs is create an image. In order to create an image, you need to make sure your model is GPT-4. From here, you choose an image size I'm going to choose 256 by 256 and in the command you'll write what kind of image you want. So I want an image of Darth Vader and once I have done that I'm going to click on submit and after it has done that it's going to automatically put it in the Google Doc itself by generating it. As you can see I got the picture of Darth Vader. And if you hover over click to see GPT response it will show you it will show additional information. Since I created an image, it took it 4.367 seconds to generate the image and it used the DALI model in order to create the image itself. And if you don't see the generated image or response in your Google Doc, you can click on click to see GPT response and the window will pop up which will show you the, the response itself. From here you can click, you can copy it to your clipboard or you can insert it in your document. And if you don't want to click to see the GPT response, you can head down here and turn on insert response to end document, which will automatically set the response in your document. You can also check your history from here, just in case if you delete your image or response, you can click on it and it will automatically put it back in your Google document itself. And if you also hover over it, it will show you the additional information. So for the blog post, it used 175 tokens and the max response tokens was 1000 and it took it 19 seconds to generate the response and the model that it used was GPT-4. By scrolling down to additional settings, you could change your model, temperature and max response tokens. You can change your model from GPT-4 to GPT-3.5 Turbo, GPT-4 32K, but the best option for me is going to be GPT-4 since it's one of the best models out there right now. Temperature is the accuracy of your responses. In order to keep your responses 100% accurate, you want to keep this at zero so it's 100% accurate every time, which is how many maximum tokens you can use in each response. And the maximum you can make it is 4,000. And by using our add-on, you can only create one image using our demo. In order to create more images, you're going to head to add user API key. And from here, you can add your own user API key to create as many images as you can. But in order to do that, you need to create a chat GPT for API key. In order to do that, you can click on here, which will send you to this GPT for API waitlist. You need to go through this waitlist in order to get your API key. And once you have gotten your API key, you can head back here and paste it in here into the API key bar. You can also add the regular chat GPT API key, or you can also check the usage. Just a note, we never store any of your open AI API keys anywhere. It's only private to you and it's never public to anyone.